Yeah, so I want to talk to you about um, how to teach your kids or young kids or maybe your little brother, little sister, how to code. And what I've learned, uh, tutoring uh, people that young, right? So I tutored a eight-year-old for about six months, and I made some mistakes in the beginning. And I had some successes in the mid part, and by the end, uh, things were really, really going well. And it was actually really fulfilling going there, and it was a different, different stage, different, different thing that I expected. Um, so uh, for, first thing before we get started, I want to mention, because it's a, a limited time only, we have about, probably by the time this video goes out, it's going to be eight days. Um, and what's on here is, uh, it's a humble bundle, and use my link below uh, so you can support me at the same time um, through the affiliate link, it'd be appreciated. But you can see for a dollar, you can get five books that are going to help you teach your ch children to code. And we're going to talk specifically about Scratch Jr., but what I can say is that more than anything else, especially when you're talking about young young children. Uh, I'm not talking about like 15, 16 year old, and yes, you still are children, right? Uh, so uh, that's, uh, that, that always killed me when my, when my parents would call me children when I was 15 and 16. But uh, hey, <laughs> I get to do it now. <laughs> um, but uh, but um, the, the thing is to keep your kids or, or your, your uh, these young, young kids uh, interested, right? And so one way of doing that is doing things with like Minecraft, right? Legos, uh, and going down the path. And you'll see right here, they have um, a manga guide. Uh, there's other stuff as well. Uh, more Lego, um, Arduino, uh, inventing games with Python, uh, a Lego animation book, so, and a bunch of other stuff. So um, I just wanted to mention that because it's there for a limited time. And uh, at the very least for uh, a dollar or more, you can pick up five books for, for yourself or for your kids. And uh, for 15, you can pick up 15 books. So basically a dollar a book. And uh, you always have the uh, opportunity to choose how much and where your money goes to as well. If you wanted to give it all to me, I ain't gonna hate on you. If you don't wanna give any to me, I ain't gonna hate on you. It's, uh, it's, it's just there for you to support and whatnot. So uh, with all that being said, let's talk about what I, what I learned personally teaching children. And essentially, at the end of the day, um, teaching through YouTube, right? Because that's, that's kind of what we do. Um, that, ne that wasn't necessarily the goal, but that's kind of what we do. Um, more importantly, so I, I was tutoring this uh, eight-year-old for about maybe six months, uh, once a week. I would go down to her parents' law firm in Los Angeles, and I would I would tutor for uh, in in um, they lived above the law firm, and I would tutor tutor in the the study. Um, First thing that I tried to do, I was in college at the time, is I tried to teach her Java. This was by far the dumbest idea I think I ever had <laughs> to try and teach an eight-year-old Java. Um, part of the reason for that is, oh, you know, could an eight-year-old learn Java? Yeah, sure, if the eight-year-old is the coding Einstein of the century, perhaps. Uh, but the, in reality, the average eight-year-old doesn't have the um, analytic ability to completely visualize the code and a lot of it comes down to being able to me memorize it. And so I spent the first two weeks trying to do that, and she, she picked up a few concepts, which is good. You kind of expose it. But I could tell that she was bored, uninterested, and didn't enjoy it. So from there, we moved on to we moved on to um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And this is when things, when I could see that she started getting interested, right? So uh, her big thing was she was very interested in Pokemon. Everything was Pokemon. She would show. I'd show up. She talked to me about Pokemon, um, and uh, I think she really liked the fact that I'm kind of a dork and I could talk back to about Pokemon. But uh, uh, you always have to keep them on track, right? The parents don't. The parents don't pay you. Um, at that time, uh, I was getting paid a premium because I was a tutoring session. I, I think I was getting paid fifty dollars an hour, and I was there for ninety minutes a week. And trust me, I needed that $75. So I had to be pretty professional, right? Not just waste their time. Um, but so what we did with, was we built a uh, kind of the free code camp tribute page, if you will. And we built it with uh, a Pokemon tribute page. Uh, I believe it was uh, Charizard, right? That's always everybody's favorite is Charizard. <laughs> um, Actually, no, it wasn't Charizard. I said Charizard. She said one of those new, the new bullshit Pokemon. We're talking, it's all about the original 150 or however many there were, man. If it didn't come on the red or blue disc, it doesn't count, all right? Um, so, anyhow. Um, 
that's what that's what we did and that was when she started liking it she could visualize it she could understand that this move this here that move that there and it you know it was a lot of help but she was enjoying it she she could tell that i could tell that she she wasn't just hating her life every time i was there right which is a big thing um part of the reason i, I to say to you guys is find those meetups find those those groups find those things that you enjoy so that you can enjoy coding long term right because it's it's truly really important for you to to be successful at this is you have to go and find what makes it fun for you and that for me is is youtube and it's and it's um been very helpful in that fashion so uh, eventually after spending about a month on here well we 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 decided to go down the scratch junior route now if you're not familiar with scratch junior scratch junior is a a free tool that you can use on a tablet or a PC, I believe. Um, yeah, and a PC because we're doing it on the PC. Um, so uh, essentially, what it is is it's a drag and drop coding interface for kids, and uh, it's interactive, right? So uh, you can see here they're like building a game, or you know, you're, you're basically building a small game using this, and I, uh, it was built by the, some guys at MIT, and it's it's. Uh, yeah, the MIT Media Lab. And it's probably the number one way that they teach young kids how to code. Now, they're not actually learning JavaScript or anything like that, but they are learning concepts. They're learning how for loops work. They're learning uh, a little bit of terminology. Uh, and more than anything else, uh, the stuff that I've preached is they're learning how to think like a developer. They're learning how to, to take concepts that aren't that aren't that complicated in terms of what they do oh so what's a for loop just repeats things what's that statement it means um if you have five dollars and six dollars you can't go forward so that would be you know they, they just break it down piece by piece and make it enjoyable in the process right so they can share their games and play their games and so we that's that's what we started to do and i have to say and you can see right here so like these little puzzle pieces are dragging and dropping instructions together that would be bits and pieces of code. And I have to say that it was pretty well put together uh, for what it is. And at the at the very least, I can really testify that she loved it. And and so I think there's three books on Scratch Junior here. Uh, so definitely check that out um, if that's something that you're interested in because it's it really is a, a great resource. And that's really what you should hope for when, when teaching your you know younger brother or sister or your son or daughter or, or anybody else what to what how to teach. you shouldn't teach you shouldn't set set re, high goals of hey I want this person to start coding websites this and that at, at such a young age you should teach them to love it and eventually they will get there right so. Even if at age eight, all she does is scratch junior, by the time that she's 12, if she decides that, hey, you know, what is it that you're coding? You know, mom, dad, brother, sister. Why is it so much different than mine? Well, this is, you know, what they, they use in the working world. And then all of a sudden, like, can I give it a shot? Yeah. And then you teach them that. But the, the, the hurdle of having to reprogram their brain to think like a developer a lot of that's going to be gone. Now it's going to be just something new, right? A new tool set. It's kind of like you've already learned JavaScript. Now you got to move to the Python. It's, yeah, there, it's not going to be perfect, but you've learned how a language works. You learned how programming works. And and that that's the hardest part, in my opinion. Um, so if my to, to summarize, um, Scratch Junior is a great tool. Uh, also, Try and do something visual. Have them build something. When we finally switched to building that Pokemon tribute page, it was so much fun for her. She enjoyed it. She even understood object-oriented programming, right? I was like, all right, cool. So we're gonna design this. Let's today we're building a Pokemon, right? We're gonna design. <laughs> we're gonna design this. And mind you, I don't do very good with children, so like I'm super uncomfortable around them because I I don't have any. I I don't. I'm the youngest in my family. Uh, my brother and I, for the most part, of my mom's like nine brothers and sisters, and so all their kids are older, and we never had like the young cousins or or anything like that running about. They all have kids now. I don't see them too often, but they all have kids now, and I'm uncomfortable around. 
around them. Um, Cause I, I just haven't been exposed to children. And the ones that I do are usually screaming and yelling and, at Walmart. And it's not, it's not the best experience. But in this case, it was kind of fun, right? So you get to, uh, I, you gotta relate it, right? You have to relate it. It's like, all right, well, there's this thing called um, objects in programming. And what it basically means is that we're gonna set parameters for a, a Pokemon today. So we have our Pokemon class. And what does a Pokemon have? And it should be like, it has a type. And then she named types. And again, they added two bullshit types like dragon and fairy and stuff like that. We all know what the original, we're talking about the fire, the ice, the water, the plant, the uh, rock, um, the psychic, I believe, or the ghosts. So the, the OG types, but we'll, we'll say, okay, so she wants the dragon type. I said, all right, we'll go with the dragon type. And then it's like, okay, well, what do you want to name this Pokemon? So that's, that'd be, what is that? A, you know, I so saw that's a string and, you know, okay, we have ability, what's, a, but you have more than one ability, so you store that in one, array, because that's a list, right? And you start breaking it down into stuff that they find enjoyable and that they, they like long-term. So um, that's my two cents, guys, about, about how to teach your kids how to code, as well as some uh, great free, res not free, but low cost rather, resources available for you for a limited time. Um, for this video, we'll do a giveaway. Uh, Traversy Media was kind enough to send us uh, some copies of his new uh, Bootstrap 4 course uh, with five projects. So we're gonna give away one of those. Um, and all, all I want for you guys is to like and subscribe. And uh, can the, no keyword, I, I'm getting kind of sick of keywords. Um, I want people to tell me uh, if they have an experience with um, teaching others code. It doesn't have to be children necessarily, or teaching yourself code. So just give me one sentence about that and you'll be eligible to win. That way people can read it and they can learn from it and it better than just me saying, you know, Scratch Junior or something like that. So uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, join our Patreon. And uh, the link for all these books are in the, the description below. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.